At the 2023 Corky Crowfoot Shootout, we saw one of the most brilliant and surprising sprinting performances that we have seen in recent memory. In the men's 200 meter dash, we had a massive clash between Courtney Lindsay from Texas Tech, the second fastest indoor 200 athlete in 2023, versus the up and coming high school sensation, Assam Asinga, who has already dipped under 10 seconds flat this year in the Open 100. Now, these past few weeks for Asinga have been absolutely wild. He's gone under 10 seconds multiple times in the 100, he's gotten very close to the 20 second barrier in the 200 meters, and also, about one hour before this 200 meter race, he ran another sub 10 second clocking in 9.89, again with a slightly illegal tailwind, but still. This kid is a big, big up and coming athlete. And this 200 meter dash was huge. And with another unbelievable performance, Asama Singa just achieved yet another insane barrier in track and field, breaking 20 seconds in the 200 meters, finishing third in this race with a time of 19.97 seconds. And thankfully, the wind in this race was finally legal as it measured only positive 1.3 meters per second. This is crazy. To this day, the official high school record in the United States stands at 20.09 seconds, set by Noah Lyles back in 2016. However, this performance completely crushed this previous mark, and it improved on this time by more than one-tenth of a second. Now, the high school record that most people would consider as the all-time mark stands with Arion Knighton, as he ran a time of 19.49 seconds in 2022. And yes, this performance was pretty ridiculous, as he not only won this race, but he buried this NCAA field. However, because of a technicality that he had already signed a professional contract with Adidas, this 19.49 does not officially count as the high school record. Either way, the sub 20 second club for a junior athlete is certainly one of the most challenging barriers in all of athletics, as only four people have ever managed to achieve this. But now we have a fifth runner on this very exclusive club, and this is Asama Singa, and he is running amazing times very consistently. This was yet another big check mark in Asama Singa's career. However, we have to look at the athletes that finished in front of him, as Courtney Lindsay from Texas Tech finished second with a time of 19.94 seconds, which was also a super fast performance and his first ever sub 20 second clocking. However, taking the victory in this race was none other than James Dadsey from Western Texas College with a completely surreal performance of 19. 0.79 seconds, Bruh. which is easily the fastest time in the world this year in the 200 meters, and it now makes him the third fastest collegiate athlete to ever run this distance, now only falling behind Walter Dix and Divine Oduduru. What in the world did we just see? I will fully admit, I was not aware of James Dadsey before this race, as his personal record list before this legendary race were only 10.10 for the 100 and 20.24 for the 200 meters. But with a jaw-dropping, massive personal record jump of 0.45 seconds of improvement, we just saw one of the biggest leaps in 200 meter personal records that we will see in 2023. Now, for a little more context as to how influential this race truly was, earlier today, we saw Letzile Tobogo from Botswana set the new world lead in the 200 meters with a very impressive showing of 19.87 seconds. And what also made this race quite compelling is that he was able to run this time in front of his home crowd in Gaborone, Botswana. This was quite the 200 meter showing, and it came after running a 9.91 in the 100 meters just a few hours earlier. And even though he did hold the world's fastest time in 2023, at this point in the day, it only took about six or seven hours before his place as the world's fastest this season was officially changed. And that's because James Dadsey just went full send, epic insane mode on this 200 meter race. And he took down some pretty strong challengers in the process. These past 12 hours have honestly been wild. From Ferdinand Amanyala running a 9.78 to Godson Oginabrume from LSU taking down both Arion Knighton and Matthew Bowling in the men's 100 meters, this has been a very influential day for the sprinting world at large. But honestly, this 200 meter dash easily made the most history today, as it not only includes the new world lead at 19.79, but it includes the new United States high school record from the man himself, Assam Asinga. 
With season's bests like this, it's really only a matter of time before he cracks the 10 second barrier with legal wind in the 100 meters. However, even though this is certainly impressive, I think his potential goes way beyond just that. I think he genuinely has the ability to break the world junior record for the 100 meters, which currently stands with none other than Let's See Tobogo at 9.91 seconds, and he set this mark in last year's world junior championships in very extreme fashion. If you'll remember, just a few days ago, Asinga ran a very inspiring 100 meter race against none other than Noah Lyles in Claremont, Florida. And with completely unmatched speed, he hit a time of 9.83 with a strong tailwind of positive 2.6 meters per second, which is slightly over the allowable limit. This was easily the fastest ever high school performance in the 100 meters under any condition, and if we take this performance and adjust it to a wind legal performance, his time would still come out to 9.93. Clearly, Asinga is ready to break 10 seconds under legal conditions, but I don't think people truly realize how close he is to challenging the world junior record. I think he is right on the cusp of true greatness. With 100 and 200 meter performances like this, Asinga is already reaching times never before achieved by a high school sprinter. But incredibly, his story goes even further, as his new indoor 60 meter PR stands at 6.57 this season, which is yet another national record time, and it also is a clocking that ranks him number 24 in the world this season. It seems like only a few months ago that Asinga was just starting to emerge and perhaps have the ability to run some pretty fast times come the outdoor season. But now, even before the month of May has arrived, he's proving that he just might be the greatest 100 and 200 meter combined athlete in high school history. These personal records just do not lie. Now, running these times as a prep athlete is already pretty insane, and the reality of such elite numbers is that Asama Singa very well could have some kind of impact come this year's World Championship season. Now, I know that this is certainly a big leap forward, and he is, at the end of the day, an inexperienced high school runner on the international scene, but come on, Asinga's times and continued improvements are insane, and he very well could put together even faster times come this year's championship season. And now I want to hear from all of you. What times do you think Asama Singa will run this year in 2023? And do you think he could have some kind of impact come this year's World Championship season? Also, please let me know. What times do you think James Dadsey has the ability to run in 2023? Was this just a one-time amazing race? Or will he continue to run fast, showcasing his true talents as now the third fastest collegiate athlete in the 200 meters? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.